Hello. Edutainment Studios and Access Healthcare welcome you to Depression, Learning to Control. This module is part three of a five-part series. Depression is a mood disorder that causes distressing symptoms that affect how you feel, think, and handle daily activities, such as sleeping, eating, or working. Your brain helps control mood and behavior with three chemicals called neurotransmitters. If your brain makes too much or not enough of these chemicals, this may cause you to become depressed. And there are different types of depression. Major depression is manifested by a combination of symptoms that interferes with the ability to work, study, sleep, eat, and enjoy one's pleasurable activities. A major depressive episode may occur only once, but more commonly, several episodes may occur in a lifetime. Chronic major depression may require a person to continue treatment and monitor lifestyle habits on an ongoing basis. Persistent depressive disorder, or dysthymia, is a depression that lasts over two years, involving symptoms that come and go in severity. The key is that the symptoms must be present at least two years. Seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, is a depression starting in the winter months, usually stemming from low natural sunlight and often lifting in the summer months. SAD may be effectively treated with light therapy, but about half do not respond to treatment and benefit from a combination of therapy and medication. Postpartum depression occurs right after giving birth. It's much more than the quote-unquote baby blues that many women experience after giving birth when hormonal and physical changes and the new responsibility of caring for a newborn can be overwhelming. It seriously interferes with the woman's daily activities. It's estimated that 10 to 15 percent of women experience postpartum depression after giving birth. Bipolar disorder, another type of depressive illness, is characterized by cycling mood changes, severe highs and lows, often with periods of normal mood in between. Sometimes the mood switches are dramatic and rapid, but usually they're gradual. When in the depressed cycle, an individual can have any or all of the symptoms of depression. When in the manic cycle, the individual may be overactive, over-talkative, and have a great deal of energy. Please feel free to investigate these other sites for more information, and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for part three of this five-part series on depression. Please let us know how we did by completing the survey. If you have any suggestions or questions, please send them to us via the survey and come back for part four.